Cool. All right, so we're gonna show you guys today how to make two different styles of arrow presses. Um, my style of arrow pressing is I usually drink coffee when I'm at the cafe or the roastery and I use really nice equipment and everything. Um, but when I'm at home on a Saturday in the morning and I've pretty much worked all week making coffee, the last thing I wanna do is make coffee feel like work. So um, my style for AeroPress is very casual. Um, it's very loose, but what makes the AeroPress so great is that it's almost never a bad cup. Um, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is weigh out some coffee. We still do weigh it. I'm gonna go somewhere between 14 and 15 grams. I don't really care too much but that's my target, so let's do 14.4. That sounds great. You're gonna to wanna to grind it. Um, grind it more on the medium to medium fine side. Um, nothing super coarse. I'm gonna grind on this guy all the way down at two and a half. That that matters to you, because your grinder's gonna be way different. All right, we have some ground coffee. I'm gonna show you the inverted technique today. One great thing is you don't need a scale anymore, but we will use it for the timer. So, I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and place the AeroPress plunger like a quarter inch in there. Um, I don't go all the way up to the four. Just gotta be careful when you go to flip it. Um, go ahead and insert your grounds into the AeroPress. It's handy if you keep the little black chute for it. I'm still going to use the hottest water possible from my kettle around 210, 212. Um, I'm going to start a timer here and go ahead and add a little bit of hot water, do a, a bloom for about 30 seconds. Your main goal here is to saturate all the grounds out as evenly and as quick as possible. So I'm just going to give it a stir. Rinse off my uh, stirring device here. Wait 30 seconds. All right, it's been 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this bad boy up to the top with some hot water. Now when you're doing this at home, it's pretty important, even if you're doing it here actually, that you don't wanna knock it over at this point and spill hot coffee and grounds everywhere. Uh, makes the morning have to start with a lot of cleanup and it's not really fun. Um, go ahead too and just wet out your paper filter. You just need kind of a drop. Um, here on the top, paper filter, ready to go. I'm gonna put it on. And then I'm gonna go do something else for two to 10 minutes. So we're back, it depends. Again, I usually let it steep for a minimum of two, two and a half minutes and a maximum of 10. Depends on if you wanted to water the garden, if the dog had to go out, you know, it's a Saturday, I'm taking my time. So we're at seven and a half minutes now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. You can do it two ways. You can just pick this up and flip it. You might spill a little bit. The kind of safer way is if you were to put your mug on there. And when you pick it up, always pick both pieces up with one hand so they don't come apart when you do it. I'm just gonna flip it and I'm gonna press down. Any speed or just? I'm just pressing as hard as I can to get it done. All right, I'm gonna push it all the way through the hissing sound. Some people like to stop before the hissing sound. I'm not sure why. Um, it's gonna be pretty hot. I'm gonna give a little taste. Sometimes I add a little hot water, which would be bypass brewing, which is kind of like an Americano, depending on if I use 15 grams, 14 grams, what kind of coffee it is and how it tastes. That one tastes pretty good, nice and clean and crisp. Let me show you the best thing about the AeroPress though is the cleanup. All you do is take off the lid and you have your whole puck and everything here and you can just press it up and then you just dump that right into the garbage, like so. And now you have a clean air press, just rinse some hot water on that and then you can make another cup. Damn. That's it. Use the link below to buy an air press. <laughs> <laughs>
Cool. If you're luckily, lucky enough to have one friend or roommate and you have to make them coffee in the morning, cool thing about the AeroPress, you can actually make two cups with it. A lot of people didn't know that, but like we just used around 14 and a half, 15 grams of coffee. Just gonna go ahead and double that. So let's double it. Let's just say 30. Use 30 grams of, uh, grams of coffee, do everything exactly the same. You know, you're gonna have to do a little bit of a bigger bloom to wet all those grounds out. Um, let it steep again for 30, 45 seconds. Fill it all the, way, all the way up with hot water. Let it steep for at least two and a half minutes, up to 10. Go ahead and press it out into a larger carafe or larger vessel. Once you're done pressing all of it out, just put that carafe on the scale and tear it with the brewed coffee in there and add 200 milliliters of hot water to it. Um, it's bypass brewing, again, like an Americano or something like that. And it's gonna dilute the coffee to the appropriate strength or roughly around there. If you find that it is too weak, add a little bit less water next time. And if you feel that it is too strong, add a little bit more water to your cup. And that's it.